Hello, I am Juan Ocozo, an engineer and structure specialist. I'm going to talk a little regarding the advanced level of earthquake resistant design in shear walls with the latest ETAP software 17.0.1. We'll work with an eight story building, which will have two walls on the y axis to support the building during an earthquake. We will have a ladder in the form of unsupported scissors. And we will place an elevator that will be supported by this slab. We'll see all about seismic resistant design according to the standards. In these slides, we have the detail of the spreadsheets given by the program. We will learn how to use them and how to calculate the shear reinforcements on the walls, elements, or members of edge length of development, cutting steel, the amount, and how it's obtained. Also the detail of a shear wall and when the elements appears are not needed in the wall sections. To show you something, let's design this wall. This is the steel area that the wall requires. We select and ask the software to design a simplified wall of compression and traction. Analyze it and notice that there are steel sections of 90 and 108. We select with right click and plus appear line. The length on the edge pier is giving us a steel surface of 73, 91, and in the top, 40 and 37. Usually we design with a maximum section of 91 centimeters square of longitudinal steel reinforcement. With this area, we've designed a section of piers. So we take this area of 91 centimeters square to AutoCAD where we will find the detail of the shear walls. On the ground floor, we have 18 one inch bars and that would result in a 91.26 square centimeter area. And that's the area the program returns. We also design the edge elements on all floors, such as we see in this presentation. We'll explain each one now, step by step through each level and how we're designing the wall from the ground floor to the top level. Also, we will explain in detail, not only in the plan, but throughout the entire wall section from the ground floor to the top floor. Let's go back to E-Tabs for a moment. There we will analyze and re-enter the data of the defined sections. There we'll see the ground floor wall, enter the designer of sections, and we find the walls already defined with the sections of the edge piers. There are 18 bars of one inch at both ends and in the center. Bars number four, located every 20 centimeters. And that's exactly what we have in the plans, 18 one inch bars and in the middle, bars every 20 centimeters. We enter all of this into the program to analyze it. So we will get the detail in and the analysis of the structure. All right, that covers what I wanted to tell you in this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.